na nililipatan ko there in waterfall. So yun, nung August 10 na yun, it was madaling araw, nasakit yung chan ko. And then after that, I texted. Basta, I never experienced as painful as, basta yung ganun. Was, what, kind, what were you doing when you were in pain? Wala, nakahika lang ako. I thought it was just a normal stomach ache. Okay. Ano. And then I texted. Kasi nung hindi ko na talaga makayanan, I texted ate ko. I told her that masakit talaga yung chan ko. So, pinunta niya ako sa bahay. Sabi niya sa akin, kukuha kita ng gamot. So yun, binigyan niya ako ng gamot. So hindi naman ano, masakit pa rin. So hanggang sa kinaumagahan, hanggang sa before magtanghal, eh, sabi, ko, sabi niya, kasi palagi na ako umiiyak. I was crying. Kasi sobrang sakit. Ano, sabi niya ating lo sa akin, daling, kon, daling na lang daw niya ako sa hospital. Yun, yung dalawang anak na yun yung nag-carry sa akin. Pina Kasi hindi na ako makatayo nun. So, so they, well, how did they carry you? They carry me in a small plastic chair na ano, yung parang may sandalan sa likod at saka may ano. ano With a uh, arm? Parang mm -hmm. uh, size? Ipang bata. Oh, okay. Kasi hindi na ako makakarry. Tapos oh. they carry yung dalawang anak niya. They carry me din sa ano sa pababa ng stairs. Sinakay na ako sa sasakyan. Diyan na ako sa Medical City sa Paranya. Sa Paranya kasi mas mas malapit. So, yun, before that, hindi pa ako inano ng doktor kasi kailangan pa check kung ano ba talaga yung ano kasi hindi nila maano. So sabi ni Do tinanong ako ng isang doktor, si doktor ako, sabi ko si Doktora Leonardo. Mm. Kasi inaantay pa siya. And then nung time na 'yon, kailangan kong i-pregnancy test ila laboratory. Mm. So noon wala akong pera noon. And then atik lo baby ano yung mga laboratory na pang ano lang, laboratory test na pregnancy, ano, kung ano-ano pa dyan. Kasi walang-wala na ako sa yung pera na pinadala niya sa akin. Pinahit ko niya sa bahay. Yeah. So, yun. So, Tim was sending you money? Yeah. Because uh, you asked him or he gave it to you? Kasi nung before pa siya umuwi, sabi naman niya sa akin if I need help or ganon. Oh, so he offered help yeah. before he left? Yeah, yeah okay. he offered na I'm sure hindi niya makakalimutan yun. How did he say it? Sabi niya sa akin, if you just need help and if I can help you, okay. just don't hesitate to, to tell him. <laughs> so you remembered what he said and then that's why you asked for help? Yeah. Well, what kind of help were you asking? That financial. Okay. Kasi I want to move, gusto ko kung medyo ano, I want to move in na. Tapos, at is na ako sa kanya, comfortable na ako sa kanya. I never thought na siya pala eh, nag-aano pa. Kung, ay kung ayaw niyang magbigay, it's sa akin. It was okay with you? It's okay for me kasi wala naman ako inuisip na masama eh. Kasi ang mga kaalam ko, okay na kami dalawa. So yun, binayad ko nga sa bahay. So wala lang akong mabayad sa hospital. I was worried then. You had no savings? Nag-worry ako nun kasi wala akong bayad. Kasi sabi ni doktora sa akin, tinecheck na ako, I was pregnant. Pero hindi ko pa, hindi pa nila alam ko. Ano. So habang nung inatay namin si doktora, dumating na siya. Tinecheck ako ni doktora, sabi niya, it's an ectopic pregnancy. So the laboratory results showed that, that it's positive. Positive, you're pregnant. But mm -hmm. still, you don't know what's causing the pain. Mm -hmm. The other doctor said na hindi pa ano. So ngayon, nung dumating si Doktora Leonardo, that my OB guy, mm -hmm. sabi niya sa akin, tinitest na niya ako, chinecheck na niya ako, sabi niya, this is an ectopic pregnancy. Mm -hmm. How did she know it was ectopic? Kasi did she say anything? No, meron siyang nilagay sa ano ko. She did an internal examination? Yeah. Okay. Then she found out something. Oh, yeah, na pumutok na daw. So kailangan ko na which operan. which was which made what was uh, anong na pumutok mo? Yung ano yung two. Which one left or right? Ano sabi niya? Iko na natanong. Mm -hmm. So sabi niya tapos kasi yun masakit na masakit talaga. So pumutok na daw yung ano. So kailangan ko I will go under undergo operation. Okay. Was so, it an emergency operation? Yeah. So she arrived there. What? Kagad daw will be operated. Mister, nagantay mo na ako doon ng mga ilang ano, mga thirty to 
20 to 30 minutes. Oh, that's an emergency operation. So, ngayon kasi nantay nga siya. So, yun, sabi ni, ano, eh, wala akong pera na I was working on it. Babayad ko sa hospital. I called up him. You called up your boss? No, Timmy. Ah, okay. Sabi ko sa kanya, be ready. I'm in the hospital. Be ready for the hospital bill. Kasi I don't have money, you know, to, to pay. Kasi yun lang yung winawari ko. Kasi anong ibabayad ko? Walang-wala na ako. And then, I called up Sir Francis. I called up my friends, my sisters, Nali. You don't have insurance. Tapos yun, dumating yung mga friends ko. Tapos, Sir Francis. Sir Francis paid the, ano, yung sa deposit doon. Kasi, they asked for a deposit na something na much more 10,000. Basta mga ganun. Sir Francis paid through credit card kasi he has no cash. Okay. Ayun, tapos, so, once he paid the ca the deposit, you were okay for surgery for operation? They would... Sir Francis signed for the operation. Kasi yung ate ko, kinabukasan pang kakarate. Ah, so he was the one who consented. No, kailangan kasi ng consent. Okay. Ayun. And then... Ayun nga, pagkakising ko, ayun na, I was operated. Pinalik na nila ako dun sa ano. And then Sir Francis told me that I should be in, in a comfortable room. Kasi ayaw naman niya ako dun ilagay sa ano, kasi nga may store ko. So she advised you to be in a private room? Yeah. So yun, kaya siya naman tumuloy sa akin. Ano, Pagka sa hospital. O bayan. So, what did they have? Did you call Tim during after the operation? No time na yon tinawagan siya. Tapos ayon nyan yung sumod. They rejected every call. When was this after the operation? No, in the after kina bukasan pa sa mga ano. Basa on those days na ando na ako sa hospital. I called him. I texted him. Pero sa palagi na hindi siya nagre-respond. Sometimes. Nagre-respond siya. Wala naman. Sabi niya, he's just promising me na uli siya, ganit siya pala hindi. I, I read um, in his blog that he was asking for the medical records. Sinend naman namin yun sa kanya eh, kaso nga lang gusto niya ura-urada. Eh, nung time na yun, I cannot, I cannot do it for myself kasi nga masakit pa yung opera. Nobody could do it for you? My friends, they do it, syempre, pero hindi naman siya niwala. Tapos yung hospital naman, nagkaroon ng bagyo. Tapos, ma, ma, ano, yung hindi nasend yung ano, kasi nga, it's too personal na daw. It's a personal? It's a personal, ano na, na para sali pa daw yung hospital. At saka nung time na yun, yung, yung internet nila, nagkakaroon ng problema sa hospital. That's why hindi na ano, hindi na isend. Pero after that, ano, kasi ginawan ko ng paraan. Nasend. Nasend. Sinend nga nila. Hmm. I heard that it was sent through Francis in it. Is that true? Yeah. At saka yung sa hospital din, nagsend din sa kanya. Because it said here that it was in the email address of Francis, not the hospital. Is Meron that true? IS. Meron. Nagsend kami. Andun nga ako eh. In the hospital's uh -oh. email address? Uh -oh. Okay. Alam na taga hospital yun. So they sent an email to Mr. Gumper? Nung no, nasend yun, andun ako. I heard the British Embassy staff was a call you. Yeah. What called. did they ask you? They asked me if it's true that I'm in the hospital. They called you in the room? To the, in the hospital phone? Yeah. Okay. Tinawag ako ng, ng, ano, ng nurse. Tapos yun, kinausap ako ng staff ng embassy. Is it true? Nandun ako sa hospital. Nag-topic pregnancy ako kasi nag-aanda sa kini. Okay. Ganon. So yun, sinasagot ko na ako. Kasi I was hoping that he will come home tapos magbabayad siya ng ano niya. Kasi I don't have money naman to pay. Right. How much was the bill? Kasi it's ano naman eh. It's... Kasi nag-aad siya everyday for the room. Okay. So, hindi ko na maaano. Basta it's... Have an idea how much it costs? 
Ando naman sa resibo na Sir Francis eh. Ah, where are the receipts? Yes. We, ah, he got 